Namaskar everyone. Um, it's uh, so good to see you guys. Actually, I'm not seeing you guys. You guys will be seeing me, right? But anyways, it's so good to see you guys. The thing is, uh, why I'm not putting much videos is I'm growing a bit lazy because with the interview series, <clears throat> I do not have to do much work. I just have to sit and listen to them sharing their experiences, and uh, that is very easy for me. The only work that I need to do is simply edit and just make sure that uh, you guys just love them, and uh, that is happening really well. Even the recent interview with Rishikesh and I, it's, um, as I said, he's someone that I really love, and um, I really love the way he talks. He's much more, you know, much more poised, pleasant, and the way he conveys the message. I think it reaches out much more than when I try to put out something. Uh, yes, uh, so coming back in today's video, um, I would like to um, answer one query that I received. I think uh, it is something that many of you might have also. Um, so the query that I received was one of this this person when he attended inner engineering, he saw that everyone was bowing down to the picture of Sadhguru, like um, before they sit or uh, whatever process they do. And he's like, why are you guys bowing down to him? Are you treating him like some kind of god or not? Is this is isn't that kind of odd? Um, so I would like to answer that. Now my answer is just from my experience as why I bow down to Sadhguru. I do not know why others in Isha Foundation or the teachers or they bow down to Sadhguru. I do not know, but uh, in my experience, I'll tell you why I bow down to Sadhguru. So I was in a stage in life where nothing was working for me. I tried psychiatry, psychology, following my passion. So many things I had tried, nothing was working and I was at the, you know, edge. And I, I realized that I needed some external help. So I was willing to do anything. So when I attended inner engineering, when the teacher bowed down, I also bowed down. It is not that some kind of thing that I saw Sadhguru as a god, but I thought this is part of the process. So I also used to bow down thinking that is also part of the process. But as the days passed, from the starting day when I attended inner engineering as the second day, third day, slowly, slowly, things started just loosening up in me. I started becoming that <laughs> seven-year-old kid that I was so joyful and blissed out. It, I was getting there. And at the end of the seventh day, I do not know, something within me opened up. There were tears of joy in my eyes of, you know, of, you know we hear about freedom that... Uh, freedom we need freedom freedom but i actually realized what it means to be free internally not in the external situation but to feel that sense of freedom not having any bondage or anything inside of truly seeing the beauty in life of creation and everything and uh, when those tears were flowing down i just naturally bow down to Sadhguru for making this profound experience in my life happen and uh, sorry and <laughs> I, 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 uh, there was nothing more in me, like I had to bow down because uh, it was in his grace that this happened. Something as simple just helped me come out of all those things. Uh, what else is there to do than bow down to Sadhguru? And it was not only bowing down to Sadhguru, to all the volunteers, the teachers who made it happen in my life. I just bow down. And from that day on, I bow down to anyone I meet. For me, my significance in my life is less than an less than a grain of sand. So whenever I meet someone, I see the creator within them. Because uh, whatever created this entire universe, as Sadhguru says, it's so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. It's so vast. We can't even fathom it. Even if you take a tiny, you know, a leaf, you can take a tiny leaf, you can study it for 10 lifetimes and still you won't understand uh, what it is. It is so so, so intricate, intricate, inter, <laughs> intricate creation and uh, I just bow down to anyone I meet. I bow down to you guys. I bow down to anyone who I meet. If it is a social situation where I can say Namaskaram, I, I bow down and say Namaskaram. If it is not a social situation where uh, Namaskaram is usually accepted, I just close my eyes and imagine myself bowing down to that person for the first initial few seconds. And um, it is very profound of just bowing down. So I hope that answers your query, my dear friend, that why, I don't know why people bow down, but this is why I bow down. I will bow down to you also for presenting me this question because like Sadhguru says, a Christian can never be wrong. A Christian is the most profound thing that anyone can ask anyone. 
because if it is truly a question without any prejudices it must be answered but uh, usually nowadays mostly i get questions uh, not in the emails please send me emails i love your emails um, i get questions from people what is this inner engineering see it's a question what is this inner engineering but they already have preconceived notions uh, that it is something fake and all that so i do not answer those queries i just smile and say yes we are stealing kidneys yes uh, we are destroying forest and just make fun and go along with them but when someone asks me a genuine question i take the time out to answer them oh it's getting very sunny <laughs> so it's a uh, i just bow down and um, this is the thing it is uh, one of the simple people think that for doing yoga you need some kind of flexibility and you know you have to stand on your head even i used to think that but uh, if you do this just get your two hands together this namaskaram this is the simplest yoga you can do um this is in the sadguru app you should definitely check the video where sadguru explains the importance of you know just saying namaskaram it will deeply it will deeply open up things within you if you can't do anything else just do this um another thing that people ask me is uh, um does inner engineering help with depression um, anxiety and all this stuff so what i would like to answer is inner engineering the kriya taught in inner engineering shambhavi mahamudra it is like a space shuttle a rocket this rocket can take you to planets and galaxies light years away from here okay and what you are asking me is can i use it to go to my near nearby grocery store it's the same thing the shambhavi mahamudra kriya is totally meant for some other purpose it is a sacrilege actually promoting it for depression and anxiety and all that stuff but it is needed why because that is what is needed most now in this world right now when you are doing shambhavi mahamudra your body reaches its natural state your mind everything you get a hold over that so depression anxiety panic attack any kind of mental issues they will slowly go away if you just keep up with the practices that's for sure because it's in my experience i'm telling you this it definitely go and every day i receive emails of people who do these practices and just like that it goes away so that so it's like this like even if you have a space shuttle to go to the moon or somewhere else if you are very hungry and famished you better go to the nearby grocery store and buy some food so similarly even similarly if you want to find the ultimate also what is it god or whatever it is that you think is the ultimate or enlightenment i don't know know what enlightenment is but whatever it is it is first highly essential that you are happy and peaceful within even if you want to do something out in the world even if you want to help others it is highly essential that you are happy and peaceful let me tell you this it's no use you doing a lot of charity and service if you are a very miserable person within because miserable people will only add more misery in the world i have seen there's a lot of people who are very miserable they become um, no offense to anyone they become psychologist they try to become social workers and all that stuff with a lot of misery going on they think that helping others will you know get them happy no you're just adding more misery to their lives it is highly essential that your bucket is full then only you pour into others buckets what you're trying to do is your bucket is already empty now you're bursting that bucket and digging the ground and taking water i do not know but uh, it's highly essential that you are happy and peaceful within before you try to do any kind of work or help in the world so definitely if you have time you should make time for yourself you should do inner engineering So okay this video 8 minutes oh okay i'll keep it short <laughs> so i'll end this video over here i hope i was able to answer the query and uh, i'll be putting out more videos um sure and i would like you to cooperate with me and uh, give me your interviews guys because it's a series that touches a lot of people i do not care how old you are what profession you are from or um, whatever you're doing just reach out to me uh, we need to make put out those more videos you know so that more people connect with you and uh, they can see that inner engineering is needed uh, so make sure it happens aminal ji ani pora so make sure it happens uh, my auntie called me <laughs> uh, so make sure it happens do reach out to me on instagram facebook i have a facebook page also you can message me there um, we have a group social group facebook group called inner engineer unofficial page by volunteers where a lot of people with similar mindset are there you can post your queries in that in case i am not able to answer you can put in that group and it will definitely be answered mm, other than that uh, mm, 
nothing else is there other than that yes main thing i forgot subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you get a notification immediately of course like or dislike the video depending on how you found it and do share this video with someone you love or someone you like not your girlfriend or someone else <laughs> just kidding share it with your girlfriend also so that's it for today's video take care namaskaram